Hello to the uh, foreign press uh, in Israel. Uh, some of you came just uh, in the last few days or maybe uh, yesterday to cover the war uh, with Hamas. My name is Ophir Gendelman. Up until January of this year, I've been the Prime Minister's spokesman to the Arab world for 13 years. I've served under Netanyahu, Bennett, and Lapid. I'd like to talk to you a bit about the situation now on the ground uh, when it comes to the war with uh, Hamas. Uh, this is a different kind of war. It is not even remotely uh, similar to the uh, latest rounds of fighting that we had with Hamas in the last uh, few years. Uh, this is something else. It is something else because Hamas has stormed our border communities and perpetrated pogroms against the people in those communities. They butchered from uh, point blank whole families, riddled with bullets, children, babies, mothers and fathers, elderly people in their beds, and killed over 1,000 Israelis uh, as we speak. This is, these are the numbers. Most of those are uh, civilians, unarmed, who uh, were butchered in their homes. They tried to uh, hide, but uh, most of them uh, were either killed or taken hostage by Hamas into Gaza. So now, after four, year, uh, four days of fighting, the IDF has been able to clear out the border communities. More than 1,500 uh, Hamas terrorists have been killed. These are the best fighters that Hamas uh, has. They send them all into our communities in order to kill as many Israelis as possible, both civilian and uh, military. And we've killed 1,500, and we've taken prisoner uh, hundreds more. And uh, they are now telling our security services uh, what they need to know about how this attack ha has transpired uh, and uh, so forth. When it comes to IDF operations in Gaza, you've seen the uh, Air Force's um, uh, raids over Hamas targets all over the Gaza Strip. Uh, Hamas is paying dearly uh, on uh, the uh, savage, brutal attacks on our border communities. Um, and the military is preparing for more operations uh, in uh, the days to come. There is no doubt that Hamas is paying heavily for these crimes. Um, how does the Arab world look at this uh, situation? Um, those massacres that were put perpetrated by Hamas terrorists who carried uh, body cameras and aired everything live through social media reminds every Arab and every Muslim that Hamas is Daesh. The same atrocities that Hamas has perpetrated, and they have perpetrated untold atrocities, maiming bodies, uh, even beheading uh, Israeli uh, Israelis of all ages. Uh, this reminds everyone of, of ISIS, of Daesh. And it's, it sends a clear message in the Arab world of what Hamas is. This will translate and has translated into unprecedented support of Israel that we are seeing on social media by uh, young and uh, older people, uh, even in countries that do not have diplomatic relations with Israel, uh, Saudi Arabia, even Kuwait, and naturally um, the Emirates and, and Morocco. And this will have an effect uh, on the way that the Palestinian issue will be getting worldwide and in the Arab world. The whole world is standing with Israel, and we're grateful for these shows of support from many, many countries. Now, 17 countries have uh, their citizens also taken hostage into Gaza. These are Israelis with uh, dual national nationalities. So 17 countries also have uh, hostages in Gaza. Uh, we have over 100 hostages. Um, most of them are civilians, including very small children, and we have all seen the pictures of how they are treated, uh, how they are uh, abused, beaten up, and, and so forth. Um, but 
when it comes to the next stages, uh, I think that this is just the beginning of the beginning. Uh, the IDF operation will continue until this threat is removed because we cannot coexist with uh, that type of uh, situation. You know, uh, in past years, uh, people thought that, you know, if we would improve the uh, economic situation on the ground in Gaza, maybe Hamas would become more moderate and take care of uh, the needs of its uh, own people. What we've seen on October 7th onwards shows that Hamas has no consideration whatsoever for the welfare of the uh, people in Gaza, and uh, now it is paying the price for it. And uh, uh, this is an unprecedented uh, situation uh, in which you know, we are um, working hard to uh, defend our people, clear out those uh, terrorists from our side of the border, and we've uh, have been successful in that. On top of that, uh, the IDF will continue to strike very, very hard at uh, Hamas and the other terrorist organizations that are operating uh, in, uh, in Gaza. Um, if you have any more information, please, uh, or questions, should I say, uh, you can forward them uh, to the uh, Journalist Association in uh, Jerusalem, and uh, they will uh, get in touch with me. Uh, Please do go visit the border community, see for yourselves the atrocities. Um, there are no words to describe the horror. Thank you. Be safe.